Today we are working on the Dodge 2004 Ram 1500. Um, the gear shifter for the train, the shift into four wheel drive. Uh, got disconnected right here. It just flops around like that. Um, the arm that goes from the shifter to the gearbox uh, broke off. So we are going to replace one today. Here's the part that you are going to need today. It comes in a package got from Amazon for about $18. It's a transfer case shifter control linkage and a grommet bushing. So it's got two little rubber pieces that will come in there that you're going to put through the hole that those two things will connect. So you don't need really any tools except for maybe a wrench to tighten that down once you got everything in and uh, besides the screws and all that to get to the shifter on that part. But like I said, all you what you need is a transfer case shifter control linkage. And uh, it comes with grommet bushing and it's good for the 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005, Dodge Rams 1500, 2500, and 3500 four wheel drive on that. Um, so you get that and uh, that's all you need to fix the problem. All right, we're up underneath here of the Dodge Ram 1500. Uh, right there, that is going, that's the arm. It goes right there. There is a hole right up there. And then there is the other hole right there to the gearbox. We're going to connect that between the two. What it was is that this part has rubber pieces that go up in there. And of course, anything rubber after time dry rots. So probably not the best design, but it works uh, hopefully it'll be an easy install first thing i'm going to do just to make it easier that i'm not doing it up underneath the truck is i'm just going to go ahead and pull the gear shifter out like this you lay it right down in there and you got this little rubber, rubber piece that came in there i'm going to squeeze it through and connect it it's a lot more easier to do that up here than uh down up underneath the truck when you don't have as much room. All right, I got it in there. Uh, make sure that you uh, got the big holes sticking out because they'll go in there like this. And so this part will go up in there in the big hole. So there's a small hole, little hole. Make sure you got the big hole pointing towards the middle of the truck. And this way it should fit. And now we're gonna go you go put this little guy down up underneath. Now, this is attached to the gearbox. And then right over there, you see where I already put the rubber piece in. I'm gonna slide this little rubber piece into there. I wanna make sure that the big hole is pointing out so everything is connected on this one side. All right, got that in there, right there. It was a little bit tough, but you just have to push through it and uh, other than that, sort of pinch it. So now we're going to connect the rod from one side to the other. So uh, once we do that, um, we'll tighten down. It should be almost done. So here's the rod. Um, I put the slotting piece is going to be up here at the gear because for it to move back and forth, it won't hit nothing. If we go the other way with it, it will hit the gear box. So since there's going to be a little bit of a metal extension, so we're going to connect it like now, that. Before I tighten up this screw right here, I'm going to make sure that I was in second gear whenever this happened. So I'm going to make sure that my shifter up top is in the second gear spot before I tighten this bad boy down so that everything will line up right. There you go. If you can look, got four wheel low, neutral, two wheel high, four wheel high. So whenever I found this problem, I was in two wheels. So I set the um, gear shifter for about the 2H spot right there before I tighten it down underneath. So now we'll get this bolt right up in here. And I'm just gonna take a wrench 
I'm just going to tighten her up so it's nice and stiff. Um, sorry, I can't uh, show you me actually doing this, but uh, most of the stuff, but I'm one handed here. So, all right, I'm going to turn her on. Got her going right there. Going to put her in neutral. There we go. I got a neutral, second gear. I'll switch her over here to four wheel drive. Got the four wheel drive light on. Four wheel drive position. Go back up, out. Four wheel low, all the way up. And then neutral. And one more time into two wheel drive. Put her in gear. She's moving. So uh, that's about it. Time just to fix my gearbox. Took about 20 minutes or so. Uh, no real tools on that, but on that you just needed the uh, transfer casing arm, and uh, it's for the Ram Dodge 1500. It also works for the 2500 and the 350 four-wheel drive. Uh, I'll put up the part number up here in a minute.